In this video, I'll be discussing the, my top 10 exotic weapons heading into Witch Queen, and also, side note, no, I do not use Shatter Throne. Yes, I know what the sun looks like, and no, my light level is nothing for you to worry about. And yes, this is my full-time job, so shut the f*** up. Beep! Okay, well, let's begin the video, shall we? Before the actual list, I did want to just give a honorary mention to both Dead Man's Tail and Hawkmoon, because they will be unobtainable through the traditional means, aka the missions, that are out in the game right now, so I would recommend just getting those, you know, before the missions are gone, experience the missions, get the gun, just do it now instead of waiting uh, a month into Witch Queen, and then, I don't know, getting at the kiosk, I guess, is the plan, but the missions are cool, so do them. These are in no particular order, by the way, they're all really good, and you should have all of them if you can, so we're starting off this list with Isanagi's Burden. Now, Isanagi has died down quite a bit for, uh, well, uh, I think it's been like, what, nine months now? Although given that we've had a six-month season right now, that kind of doesn't help. But Iznagi's Burden has kind of taken a backseat because of all the artifact mods that have had damage boosts. So Particle Deconstruction and um, whatever made Anarchy even more busted than it already was. Uh, with that in the shuffle, Iznagi kind of became a bit irrelevant. But it's still a really, really solid sniper. Maybe even still the best sniper in the game. Its damage is still really good, and it seems like we'll be going away from those damage-dealing artifact mods, starting with Witch Queen, so there won't be like a 40% boost to other weapons going on next season. So Izanagi might be back in the fold overall, and if you don't already have this gun, highly recommend that you get it. Now, moving on, we're going to stay in the kinetic area for now. Arbalist is a no-brainer now. Uh, it's just an absurd gun. Built-in anti-barrier doesn't give a damn about any shields it is the match game killer in this season currently it's under particle deconstruction it is just insane get this gun and get the catalyst and finish it if you can it is absurd even when with particle uh leaving after this season it's still going to be a great nightfall weapon just because of the anti-barrier and ignoring of the shields just in those alone also the catalyst is pretty nutty as well just break a shield and then you reload your gun Pretty damn good. Wither Horde, another very solid choice in the kinetic slot. It's just been solid overall since its inception, honestly. It's never been like a, you know, DPS, insane boss damage meta kind of gun, but it has been extremely good for crowd control in certain encounters, uh, such as like the phase one of Tanix and Deepstone Crypt, where you're on the ship and all the enemies are coming out of the doorways for the bomb phase. Given that, we might have a Master Deepstone Crypt in Witch Queen. I think this is going to be a really, really good weapon for that raid. And it's going to have even more time to shine. But it's just a solid weapon overall for crowd control. And you should definitely get it. Finally, in the Kinetic slot, I want to give a shout out to the best of them all in the game. <laughs> Agar Scepter. Anybody that watches me stream knows I absolutely adore this weapon. This weapon is absurd. It can single-handedly destroy champions. Anti-barrier? No problem. I'll just freeze you to death. Uh, 50 adds on you? No problem. I'll just freeze one of you, and then all 800 million of you will freeze after him, and then I'll shoot one of you, and then you all die. It's just so damn effing good. I cannot understate it or overstate it enough. It goes both ways. It's just that good. It just doesn't care. Get this weapon. It's a quest weapon for Season of the Lost. There's no reason why you shouldn't have this. It, it, this gun with the catalyst procced will change your life. You, you will see the light. You, you will suddenly become a, uh, I don't know, Marasov worshiper if you aren't already. All right, we're going to Monka TOS territory. Let's move on. In the energy slot, we're going to start with T Lesto. Just kidding, this gun sucks. Now, but it, it's solid, but it's not in my top 10. You can get it, though. The next one on this list is a no brainer Divinity. If you don't own the gun already, just go do the quest in Garden of Salvation. Yes, I know you have to do Garden to get this, but this gun's worth it. It helps a lot, especially for teams that may struggle to do precision damage with things like snipers. It's really helpful. It's bonus damage and, uh, you know, free overload stuns too. So definitely get this gun if you're able to. Next one is the old Vex Mythoclast, the gun that most people can't get because RNG sucks. It's unfortunate, but if you somehow have not obtained the gun yet and you're like, oh, for a billion, that sucks. But you should still probably try to get it if you stop trying because the gun is extremely solid. Even when Particle Deconstruction leaves, it'll be very, very good, especially if there are any artifact mods that come back that involve fusion rifles. 
and it's just really fun to use, and it has some sick damage, and the gun just even sounds sick. So, if you have stopped trying to do well for some reason, just go do three Atheons a week until you get it, and good luck. Sleeper! Let's talk about power weapons. Sleeper, I know a lot of people are thinking once Particle is gone, Sleeper will just fall off a cliff again, but I think this time it'll actually stick. Its damage output is pretty silly, even when not incorporating Particle Deconstruction, I feel like. For bosses where you just gotta beam them in the head, you know, super quick burst damage, I think Sleeper will still be up there. Um, I think it'll still be used for, let's say, like, Grass of Aris final boss, unless there's a, a new meta with the new weapons coming in that we don't know about yet, or Boy 3 Perno shakes something up. But before then, I think Sleeper's still a great option, and definitely something you should get out of the kiosk before uh, anything else, for the power slot anyway. Speaking of the kiosk, this is probably the only contender to Sleeper in terms of power weapon in choice in the kiosk, Anarchy. Anarchy is still very, very good against champions. The only nerf it had was to boss damage overall, which, let's be honest, it kind of needed that. But against champions, it's still at full power. It kind of, you know, got put in the backseat a little bit because of particle deconstruction, much like almost everything else. But once that's gone and there shouldn't be a damage mod next season, I think Anarchy will once again rear its, uh, it, it, beautiful head? No, 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 it's, it's pretty ugly. It'll rear its ugly head, and, um, but in a good way. I think it'll definitely have a place in the meta for Witch Queen unless something unforeseen happens. Lament. Kind of, uh, kind of forgot this existed for a while, I'm not gonna lie to ya. So, Lament, I think, is actually a nice sleeper pick going into Witch Queen day one, week one content because of its really good damage output. Now, normally, you don't want to go near enemies with swords when you're under level, which I think most of us will be day one. However, Lament has a built-in healing perk on top of its already really good damage. I think it'll actually have a nice spot to fill in for uh, week one content, even if you go in under leveled. So I think it's a really solid choice to get now while you still can. It's a quest, so it's not that hard to get. It doesn't take much time. So realistically, there's no reason why you shouldn't have this if you're going into day one slash week one for Witch Queen. And finally, the most obvious choice. Everybody knows this one. Galahorn. What what do I need to say about Galahorn? Uh, it just obliterates everything, <laughs> pretty much. I don't think it'll be nerfed. Uh, I, I think it'll just continue to destroy everything, and, um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't really add anything else more than that. It's just gonna keep shredding. It's probably gonna be number one in terms of damage, uh, going into week one. Maybe Sleeper can still beat it, or contend with it at least anyway, but, uh, I think Galahorn consistency-wise will probably win out overall just because you don't need to aim for headshots or anything. You just aim and let wolf pack rounds do everything for you. So, there you have it. Those are my exotic weapon recommendations, suggestions, whatever you want to call it. Top 10 going into Witch Queen. I will be doing one for um, armor as well. And I'll be doing one for legendary weapons in case you're curious on that. But I won't be including artifact champion stunning weapons like primaries. Because, uh, spoiler, that's a separate video. Other than that, hopefully this helps. Hope you enjoy. If you did, be sure to sub it really does help the channel also like comment notification bell all that nonsense let's try to get the 20k yep all right catch you guys next time